Wyatt here from Country Road Rail Productions. Rolling into Hopedale here. And we got Wheeling and Lake Erie 214 shoving their tanker cars into Waco siding. Ugh. There they are right there. I, I didn't even have enough time to get back here. Yellow signal on the main, red signal on the siding. Hoping I would have been able to have had enough time to go home and get my HD video camera since my phone is out of space. So I'm filming on my mom's phone right now. She let me do that. I'm a, yeah, I have the volume on max. It's cold out here. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, I was hoping I would have had time to go home and get the HD video camera uh, with my tripod to set up right where I'm standing right now to hopefully, like, because since my phone's low on storage, I was going to hope for a stabler shot and, like, um, be able to film with my HD ca camera since I hardly film with it. But I was passing over on US-22 over the tracks, and I'd seen the conductor was riding on the back. That they were shoving back here. Like, they were already, like, half... They were just to get ready to... I don't even know what he said. Clear, starting over our distance. Anyway, um, I, he was pretty, they were pretty much almost to the overpass at the tail end of their train. And so I was like, I ain't got time for this. So I just, so I, was, I told my mom, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and get over to the tracks. And as you guys saw, I barely had any time to even get out of the vehicle. That's what's tough with filming these mainline trains. Well, this isn't necessarily a mainline job. It's just more of like a, uh, a local that goes from Brewster, Ohio. Looks like all these cars appear to be Placard 1075. That's what I'm seeing anyway. Oh, bus 225 gets to wait on the train. <laughs> they stay here too. They're staying way back there too. I wish I had gloves because my hands are starting to get cold. It is starting to actually snow. <laughs> I don't know why 235 is not coming up here. That's the bus that's sitting over there. Harrison Hills School District. Oh, and here come our engines. Kind of like the zoom on my mom's camera better. Okay, they decided to go uh, up the back way under the tracks. They decided not to wait. Now we got two engines still, as you usually do. It's cold out here and the wind's starting to blow. Appears to be both just SD40-2s. Wheeling Lake Erie, 63, 54, and 6990. He wasn't even looking. He's in the 6354. There they go, we're crossing over from the main line into Waco siding with, I'm assuming, loaded tankers. And we'll keep rolling for a little bit. We'll listen into the scanner and these radio controlled signals. If I'm thinking they will, they'll go back to uh, restore to normal until they throw them again. Brakes are screechy. Calling for three step. I don't know if the signals will change. Yep, there they went. So I'm zoom back out. And this should light up with them restoring to normal. Maybe. Because they have restored to normal, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until they uh, uncouple the cars and start moving. There's a bus up there stopped. Dropping kids off. Probably the uh, Harrison Hills 235 that we saw sitting back here at the, at the uh, split 
waiting for the 214 to clear and I guess the bus driver just like got impatient or something. Uh, turn around. I'm going to pause it and they're setting the handbrakes right now on the cars and they're uncoupling. Handbrakes are set. The radio controlled signals and switches have restored to normal. I accident. I ended the video too early and then I shut the phone off. Here we go. Get ready to leave. The WNLE Hopedale crossover has received a request to throw. Repeat. The WNLE Hopedale crossover has received a request to throw. Out. See, we got a spy up here. See, we got a spy up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they just acknowledged me. How about that? <laughs> WNLE, Hopedale crossovers, line reverse. Repeat, Hopedale crossovers, line reverse. Out. <laughs> Sounds like he said it. I came in. Sounds like he said it. came around the curve and on two wheels trying to get there to get their picture. <laughs> Hopefully you mean video, dude. <laughs> That's all I had to do. <laughs> that was just too cool right there. Well, that's not the first time I've been acknowledged. First time I flew the drone above them, the, uh, the first drone video I uploaded to 214, the conductor acknowledged that uh, they had a drone above them. So, that's not surprising. <laughs> that's a good one, three step. I agree, three step. Top three stretch. And here they come. At least I think. Yeah. Let's, let's start doing three step. I think they just did three step. Hands are cold. Can't wait to get back in the car to warm these things up. <laughs> so there. And here they come, moving forward. Switching back from Waco siding, back onto the main line. I'm going to get up here a little bit. <laughs> oh, you better go. You better go or stop. <laughs> go or stop something. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I would just stopped and waited, but <laughs> watch him go back here. Three Waco West switch is line normal. Repeat. Waco West switch is line. There they normal. go. Restored to normal. And there they go. The two engines heading down back towards Waco with just the buffer car in tow. Listen in, it should say Hope Y'all Crossover is restored to normal. Alrighty. Well, that's going to conclude it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, do me a favor and punch a like button. Hope Crossover has restored to normal. Repeat, Hope Y'all Crossover has restored to normal. Out. Anyway, as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. This is Wyatt from Country Road Productions. Out.